trying to guess what the mixture is to get her started is always tough for the pilot. <laughs> Whistling 
sound? That's the sound of the wind and all the wires that raised the biplane. There wasn't much for instrumentation in these cockpits. This was really flying by wheel. And the pilots listened to the airplane. They felt the airplane. Some of the airspeed indicators they had back then were not very reliable. They could hear the wind whistling through the wires. They had enough airspeed to maintain flight. Once the training comes to the land, a lot of times you can hear the wind whistling through the wires right about the time it touches down and when it ceases. All those ruts and all those wires that supported the other wings led to the airplane to be used in wing walking acts, where they would climb up on the top wing, raise themselves in the struts, and do incredible plane to plane transfers, all sorts of crazy stuff done with the Curtis Jetty. Here it comes into land, now it's over 1918. A pleasure to have this original World War I trainer still in the sky in the hole right now. Oh, that's all. 